Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you um, about the start menu and the icons and the notification area. Um, I've got, um, I'm on Windows Vista at the moment, but I can also I've got a Windows XP computer ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll go to the Windows XP computer first and um, here we go, we've got the start menu. It's quite obvious on the Windows XP. Um, all you do is press on it and um, you can go and see, um, click on any of these things and they'll open. Okay, so if you click on My Documents, it'll open. My Pictures, these are usually where your um, private files are stalled, stored. Sorry. Um, and My Computer, this will show you where um, what your hard drive is and your CD drives and stuff. Okay, so there's the hard drive there, and if you put your mouse over the top of it, it comes up with how big it is. Okay, um, it'll show you floppy drive, your CD drive. If you've got a camera plugged in, it'll probably show your camera here as well. Okay, I'm just going to close this one. Okay, so now we've also got the desktop icons where you can just click on something and it'll open. Um, it could be a file, this is just a picture here, or it could be a program. This is a program, it's got a little shortcut arrow on it. Okay, see the little shortcut arrow? Um, your computer might not have the shortcut arrow on it, um, but by default it will, unless someone's changed it. Okay, um, I've, I've even got folders on there, so yeah. You can have all sorts of things on your desktop, so it's easy to find, but it is very unorganised. It is better to put them away in the proper folders. Um, down here on the bottom, near the Start menu, this is the Quick Launch Toolbar, and I've got icons there. Now, <clears throat> I just simply drag an icon from the desktop down to the Quick Launch Toolbar and add it in there. Okay, and if I want to get rid of one, I right click and delete. Um, if you want to know more about the quick launch toolbar, I have got videos about that as well, just about the quick launch toolbar. Okay, if we go over here, we've got the notification area. This is what it's called. This is where the um, messages come up for us. Okay, so if we click on something, um, it'll come up and say what it is. Um, so I clicked on that Java update available and here we go it says do you want to install it. So um, Java is um, a script that we need. Um, it's, in, like an, it's like an add-in and um, it helps you browse through the internet and stuff. So I, everyone usually downloads that. Okay. Um, also, if you want to know about these icons that are here, um, I've also got another video about that. Okay, so also we can right click on the desktop, okay, and go to properties. This is probably something that you might need to know. And then the display properties box comes up and it's, you can change things here. Um, you can make a desktop background, okay. You can go to the screensaver section and make a uh, choose a screensaver. Um, appearance. That's you can just play around with that and see what it changes the color of the boxes and stuff. And settings. Um, this is where you s change your screen resolution. Um, like my mum and dad, they have it on eight hundred by six hundred because. Um, it's they can't really see they I mean you know um, it makes the writing bigger uh, but I like to have it a lot smaller all right so I didn't change anything there so I'll just press OK right so now we'll go back to the Windows Vista computer or just go back there um, now we've been through the start menu now on the Vista computer this is the start menu just this it doesn't say start um, <coughs> It's got the same thing really, it's got, um, except for it's got MITS there, which is my username. Um, it's got documents, pictures, music, the same thing that we had there, computer, 
um, it's also got control panel okay which the other one had as well um, if you wanted to find more programs which I didn't show you on the other one you just press on I'll just go back you press on all programs okay and that's the same with the Windows XP menu and then you find what you want now accessories has got a few things in there that you might want sometimes because um, it's got system tools in there you go to system tools this is how you clean up your computer in here disk clean up disk defrag and stuff like that um, also the same the Vista's got the icons on the desktop um, of course it's a lot newer and you can do more things with it than Windows XP um, it also has the quick launch toolbar down beside here okay beside the start menu now this actual long strip along here is called the task bar okay and here's the notification area again and there's the icons in there now if you just put your mouse over them it'll come up and say what they are okay anything you want to know you just put your mouse over it and it should come up um, if you want to change the date over here, be the same on the Windows XP computer. You can just click on it or double click on it for the Windows XP computer and the date will come up and you can probably change it all. Okay. Um, also down here, this is where I can choose what program I'm using. Okay. I haven't actually, if I just set, open up another window. So if I wanted to go to this window or to this window, all I have to do is click on it there okay now I'm on this window now because I've clicked on it if I go up there I'll see my web page okay I hope that helped um, thanks for watching